All right. Hey, everybody. This is Brant from Ash Games, and we are we're here playing a two player game of Oros on Tabletopia. And with me, I have Chuck Burgess, the owner, the operator, the man, the magician himself of BGHQ, which is your one stop shop to add some bling to your board game. Did I totally nail that, Chuck? Yeah, you you did. Dude, you're spot on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, Chuck, tell everybody first off, what is BGHQ? What do you do? And then we're going to dive into this game and we're going to beat each other up. Well, like you said, BGHQ is bling for your board game. So I 3D print upgraded board game components for all kinds of various and sundry board games. And so, yeah, if you have a need, reach out to me. I can see if I can help take care of that. Love it. All right. So Chuck has played this game a number of times, so he knows what he's doing. And one of the reasons why I love playing with Chuck is that he has no mercy and takes no prisoners. And tonight we're going to see how that goes. Um, since we're playing a two-player game, we'll be playing with one of the Automa. And the Automa we're playing is the Automa of the Living Sun. She's competitive. She should play pretty broadly across the, the spectrum. So player one will be Sun. Player two will be Chuck. I'm going to be playing as Water. And then... There we are at the ziggurat, and I'm going to grab this little first player token, give it to Sun. And since the Automa will be beginning, we'll, let's take the first card, we'll flip it over. And as we play this, I'll kind of walk through what's going on. I won't do a full rules uh, overview or anything like that, but we'll both talk through our actions and our thinking and what's happening. So card number one shows the white area. It says in region C or A or D. So she's going to prioritize C. She's going to attempt to build a sacred site and place a follower on it. So we'll look out across the map at region C. Region C is over here. Well, the only way that she can build a sacred site is if there's a mountain on the map. The entire game is just starting. There's no mountains out there. So let's be honest. In region C, region A or region D, no matter what, she can't build. So instead, what she does is she sends one of her followers to study. So we'll grab a little follower. We'll drop it here in the study space. The next thing she's going to do is shift a row two spaces, and it shows this row right here. So let's go ahead and grab all the tiles in that row. There we go. And two spaces. That moves this thing way over here. There we go. And it doesn't have an ascend symbol, so that is all that the automia does to start the game. And Chuck, you are up. All right. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is put my little guy out here on an island. Um, so that's my first action. I get two more actions. So my second action is going to be to do this little uh, action here called move land tiles. And I'm going to take, let's see if I can do this right. Hey, look at that. And I'm going to slide these across the map this direction. Nice. So and collide them with these three. So this one goes to a four, I believe. Yep. This one goes to a two. And yeah, I'll leave it in that direction. And this one also goes to a four. That volcano stays there. That volcano stays there. And we'll get rid of some of these tiles. <clears throat> All right. All right. And it looks like we've got an island that popped in at the other side of the map over here or over our hotspot. So I'll drop that yep. in. All right. And then I have one more action and I have to be very careful how I place it on this board because if I cover up something I need for my next turn, that could be very... Um, Just do it. Tragic. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> so I think what I want to do, I am going to... Send one to study, and I think I will send this one. All right, fair enough. <clears throat> it's action three. My turn. Oh man! All right. Well, I think I am going to jump straight in here. I'm going to straight for the jugular, right I in the middle. It. I knew it. First thing I'm going to do is move land tiles one space, and we're going to take all three of these tiles, and we're going to crash them over here. So the three and the two collide together. That creates a four with a one volcano on top because three plus two equals five. The largest land tile is a four. So that's as big as it can get. So anything in excess rises to the surface as a volcano. The four moves right on over and the three and the one collide, creating a four. So that three disappears. And I am now standing on this beautiful, beautiful strip of land with a lot of fours next to me. I'm feeling pretty confident about that. 
And for my last action, hmm, I think I'm going to do exactly what you just did because I'm going to need that action space. So I'm going to send one to study and that will conclude my turn. So let's jump over to the Automa, flip over the next card and see what we got. All right, region B, she attempts to build and places a follower on it. Well, again, there's no, neither of us have formed a mountain yet, so there's no place to build. So she can't do that. So all she does is sends a follower to study. So both of her study spaces are now filled. And then she's going to shift two rows, two spaces, and it's going to be this top row up here. So that's going to go one, two, one, two, and the same thing for the row down here. And then there are two ziggurat symbols, which means that she can ascend the ziggurat two spaces. So let's jump over there and up she goes, one, two. That is it for the Automa, and you're up, Chuck. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, this is going to be rough, but I'm going to, I, I think it's important that I try to mess with you. <laughs> Come on. So I'm, nah. I'm going to move, I'm going to move this guy here. Um, that allows me to move land tiles and you knew this was coming. You can do your worst. You can't stop this. And I'm going to do that. Sheer cruelty. Yep. And then um, I'm going to move that same guy because you because you can move the same guy. And I'm going to move another person to study. Um, and I'm going to move, I think, uh, this dude right here to study. And then I am going to move tiles again. And you had to know this was coming. Oh, wow. You're forming a mountain way over there. Yep. All right. We'll see. We're going to see the repercussions of this uh, event right here. Oh, and, and, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. All right. We have a mountain with a one. We've got a four with a one. We've got a two. <sighs> All right. So the question now is, can one of us get to that mountain before the before the Automa gets to it, because or before you move some of my stuff out of the way? Because <laughs> I have a clear path right now. <laughs> I'm just pointing oh, it out. Plenty, you wanna plenty far me away. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, let me think through this a little bit, <clears throat> making my life hard. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is great. <laughs> All right, this is what I'm going to do. First, we're going to shift a row of land one space because that's all I can do. So we're going to go one space. Ah, oh, it didn't take all of them. One space, one space. That puts this two way over here. Next, I'm going to send a follower to study. And next, I'm going to shift another row of land tiles one space. And we're going to grab this row right here and shift it one. <laughs> you, I knew it. I knew it. Just to make, you know, life and in inconvenient enough that you stop messing with me. All right, back over to the Automa. This is going to be an interesting game because we're going to be messing with each other and the Automa is just going to destroy us. I already know it. <laughs> All right. This looks like, oh, man. Ah, she wouldn't hit us anyway. Okay, in, in region A, it says, in region A, remove all followers from the lowest occupied land tile. Anyway, there are no followers in A, so it really doesn't matter. So the next thing she tries to do is sends a follower to study. All of her study spaces are filled, so she can't do that. So the next thing she does is return followers from study. And so she gets these two followers back, immediately gains some wisdom. So what we do is we look at these symbols here. Since she's gaining two, she'll get the top two symbols. So that's the that's the temple symbol and the shift symbol. So we look at these columns here, the shift columns right there, the temple ones over there. Both of those wisdom caps move up and she's feeling pretty good. All right, so then she's going to shift. Oh, yes. All right, she's going to shift all the tiles in the middle here. Two spaces, one, two, and one, two. And then she's going to ascend one space up the ziggurat yet again. And Chuck, you it is your turn. 
yeah, that's kind of messed up. I don't like the sun goddess here. <laughs> she she took away my it's, mountain. It's sheer generosity and vengeance and fate and karma. So, <sighs> all right. I have a little rules question, and this will probably go, be good for your audience as well. So um, I want to be able to move these three one direction um, towards this way. What hap Does this one slide around and slam into me? Yeah. So when you are performing a move action, a move action selects just the tiles, the tiles kind of, they, they don't respect the rows. And so um, when you do a move action, everything goes in the exact same direction and then whatever happens, happens. And so in this instance, the two would move up, the three would move up, and this two would land on this little arrow, which would swing it around and slam it right into you. Yeah. And when I'm selecting three, I could select this one, this one, and this one as well, right? And move them down one. Exactly. Yep. Because all three of those are considered adjacent because the edges of the map are all uh, actually touching. They, they, they connect one side to the other side. Okay, perfect. All right. So my first action then is going to be to get two from study. So I'm going to pull back this one. And of course, when you pull them back, you have to put them on action spots. So you have to be very careful. So I'm going to put those two there. And that provides two wisdom if I'm not That's mistaken. Correct, yeah. So I'm going to go um, one, two. <laughs> I think you kind of know what's happening there. Um, then I'm going to, yeah, then I'm going to move this guy off of wisdom to here for my second action. And I am going to do that. I'm going to select this one, this one, and this one, and I'm going to go this direction. Nice. All right. Looks like we get a new Island over here. Pops in. Yeah. Um, and for my third action, oh, bummer. I, I, I knew I, I put this guy in the wrong place. Oh, <laughs> um, but that's okay. I'm not going to roll it back because I hate rolling back. So I think I'm going to send one to worship. Up there to study. All right. Go. All right. Jumping over to my spot here. <clears throat> well, you just set me up for all sorts of great and wonderful things. Thanks, Chuck. Well, I didn't. It was the Ottoman, and I curse her to this day. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm going to move land tiles, and we're going to grab these three right here. Boom. We're going to collide them that way. So the two and the two collide. That forms four. These two fours collide, and there's three units of volcano on there. So it's going to be a mountain with a level three volcano. And one of these blue followers just happens to join, you know, nonchalantly. And then the two collides here. So the two and the one will add together. That creates another three volcano. No complaints from me. And, yeah, of then, course. <laughs> and then I'm actually going to return my followers from study first. And we're going to put them right here. One there, one there, and I'm going to get some wisdom for that. Definitely grab one of these. And I'm going to grab one of those. And then for my final action, I'll be building a monolith. So since I'm conveniently located on this mountain now, I can build a monolith. My follower moves up and begins to study in my monolith. And that action first allows me to ascend the ziggurat two spaces. So I am now on a number two. I gain one wisdom for doing so. So let's see, I'm going to, this is such a tough decision here. Uh, we're, you can, we're gonna you go can for pass. it. We're gonna go for you it. Don't I'm have gonna go back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I put it in my wisdom track, move that up. I'm gonna take a little bit of a risk here, see if it pays out in the end. All right, Adama, let's do your do your worst. In Region C, she builds a sacred site. Oh, well, lucky for me, my little spot here, my little vacation home is in an, on an, a lower numbered space. So she builds right on top of me. So first so things first. She built there instead of building um, a small, uh, one of the 
other ones. The models. So each of these regions are numbered one through nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so whenever the automa affects the map um, or builds or develops in any way, uh, they'll always start with the lowest numbered map space possible and then just work their way up to the largest. So um, C7 is lower than C9. And so therefore, or C8, which is where this mountain is. So therefore she builds on C7 because that's where the first opportunity to accomplish the action was. Perfect. So first things first, I definitely need to just jump over here and claim the wisdom that she so generously gave me. I just want to rub that in real fast. <laughs> and then she gains two wisdom because she built a shrine. So that's follower and shift. There we go and move those up. All right, and then let's see, she's going to ah, simple little shift here. Those two, those two tiles move up and she ascends again. She is leaping, leaping up the ziggurat. She's up to space five. That's one of our red spots. So all of our hot spots will get a level two volcano or if there's already a volcano there, we'll add two to it. And so I think, yeah, that one will turn into a four right there, right? There we go, got the four. That's all for the Automa. Uh, that was enough. All right, Chuck. Now, now okay. the question is, can you build? <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank goodness I can. And this is going to be the awesome part of it. If As long as I do it right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this guy over here, which allows me to move an entire row. One. Yeah, that goes one. Two, three, three, right? Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to move off of here. And the reason I'm moving off of the build space is so I can move back to it. So I'm going to move here that allows me to journey my followers. Um, one, two, three. I think I'm at three, right? That's three. Yeah. yeah. Three spaces. Your little, well, your little dude he, got, he he got tired. I mean, that was a long walk, man. That was a long walk. He had to lay down. All right, and then I'm going to then move this guy over and build right there. Huzzah. All right. Well, that means... So he goes out there, right? That uh, means Automa gains one wisdom, which is follower moves up one space. I gain one wisdom. I'm going to go ahead and move up my little monolith spot here. Yes. Chuck, you have played right into my hand. Moi, okay. ha ha. All right, you get to ascend oh. two. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, yep, so I go one, and because you're there, I get the leapfrog you. So I go up to t there. And then I also get three wisdom. I think I'm going to move this one up one. Um, I think I'm going to move this one up one since I've already started my temple building process. Yeah, I think I'm going to move this one up one so that I can move... Uh, a row, two spaces instead of just one. All right. Well, I I uh, I love what you've done with the place, Chuck. I honestly do. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going Happy to out. journey my follower. And I can go journey two spaces. So let's move up here. We're going to go one space down to the mountain and then one space to this other mountain over here. My next action will be to send someone to study. And let's see, who will I, who should I send? We're going to do this and send that guy. And my final action, I'm going to build a monolith. And because I have invested in monoliths up to my fourth level, I've unlocked the ability to gain an extra wisdom on top of the other wisdom that I would gain normally. So I'm going to get two wisdom out of this build rather than one like you normally would when building a monolith. And I'm also going to ascend the ziggurat two spaces. So let me jump over here, jump up the ziggurat. Unfortunately, I don't get to skip ahead of anybody, which is kind of lame, but that's all right. I'm going to take my two wisdom and we're just going to keep on going up this column. I think see what good it might do me by the end of this game. All right, so I journeyed, I built, and I have sent someone to study. So that is my entire turn. Let's jump over, see what the Automa does. All right, in region B, she attempts to build. Well, the only spot has already been built on by her. In region D, 
There's nothing. And in region A, there's nothing. So she can't build. So she returns followers from study in any of those regions. So region B here, she does have someone studying. So she's going to bring that follower back and she gains a wisdom for doing so. So that is monolith for her. Next thing she's going to do is shift this row right here, two spaces. And right there goes down. Looks like we got ourselves a new island. Perfect. And then no ascend for her. So that concludes her turn. All right, Chuck. All right. Uh, I need a clarifying question here on the rules. All right, go for so it. when you journey, it says um, when I when I use enough wisdom, it can journey across water edges. Um, that's like edges on the tile or full on water spaces. Uh, that's true. So a journey is always across tiles. So there's, there's never a way for you to, uh, to just walk across the open sea. Uh, so yes, it always has to be across tiles, but yeah, with that ability, you'll be able to cross land edges and water edges, but it's gotta be on tiles. So that's your one limitation. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> so the first action I'm going to take is this one, and I'm going to take these three Ooh, and move uh, them that way. All right. So that becomes a mountain. Um, this four and two becomes a four with a four volcano, I believe. Yeah. Correct me if I'm yep. wrong. Yep. And this one comes out over here, which then puts another one there. Nice. Perfect. Oh, goodness. That was kind of bad for me. Now that I look at that, <laughs> I can't get down there fast enough. I know your dog on it. Your first sacred site was a temple. Usually, it's a smart plan to build a a monolith or or, or a shrine at the very least first, just because it, they're a lot easier to get off of. Otherwise, you don't have a doorway, right? Like right now, your only doorway on the map is at the very top of that mountain. Yeah. So the second thing I'm going to do is travel down, which is one, two, three. And the third thing I'm going to do is, yeah, I'm going to send a guy to, to study. Oh, up at the top. Okay. Yeah. It's always convenient to put him out on the board just in case, you know. That's true. Although he's at the top of a ziggurat or at the top of a temple. One, two, three. Okay. All right. Well, I think I can mess with you. So I am going to do it. Yeah. I think you've left it open for me. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to return followers from study and I'm only going to return one because that's all that I need in order to do this cruel thing. And I'm going to gain. <laughs> that's what I, I knew I could count on you to be cruel to me. <laughs> I'm going to amp up my journey ability just so I can journey three spaces. Let's jump to the top view here. So that's going to be one to get to the mountain two to get to that mountain and three to get over here on this unoccupied mountain that Chuck so kindly formed, but could not reach. And with my final action, I'm going to build a monolith again, which means I have now built all three of my monoliths. Watch out. And I have the ability to get the extra wisdom when I build monoliths and I'm going to make sure I take that. So there we go there. I get to ascend two spaces up the ziggurat that puts me on, let's see, space six and I gain two wisdom and let's just go for this going all the way up on my volcano track here. That my, that, that is my turn right there. Like it wasn't enough. Like you want more or what? <laughs> I, I'd be good with another action. Sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah I don't, I don't mind that. All right. In region a, let's see in region a, she attempts to build a sacred site and place a follower on it. Well, there's no mountain there to do so. So she is actually going to form a mountain and place a sacred site on it. So she grabs a mountain tile here. A four is our lowest open space on the map and she'll drop a monolith. And you might one day as well. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm done with monoliths, so I need everybody else to build monoliths for me now. Let's see. She goes up one space for that monolith. And then in region A, she's going to remove the largest unoccupied land tile. That will be a three. And uh, the lowest spot is the three there. So that comes off. And she ascends one space up the ziggurat. Ah, so she hops over me, lands on space seven. 
Okay. That's it for the Automa. You're up. All right. So my first action obviously is going to be to move and I'm going to go one. I can go three, but well, so the, the three spaces you can go can be split among your, your followers. So yeah, that oh, yeah. one can go down too. So you're just going to be sitting on top of my monolith. All right. Um, then I'm going to, for my second action, I'm going to build, we're going to build one of these bad boys right here, which puts him there. How convenient that I wasn't there. Well, you know, that's okay. <laughs> so I can ascend two and I get two wisdom. So one, two. Correct. Oh, this is hard. I'm not sure what I want to do. Like if I, if I take the commitment on the sacred site side of things, um, it kind of locks me in, but you've been like mad rushing. I don't know. I mean, temple, uh, the monoliths are the most reliable sacred site. I mean, th it's a long-term wisdom game, right? And I'm missing out on wisdom because I built those things. I don't have followers out there. So in one side, uh, it, I'm missing out, but I kind of was able to compensate by that, by increasing that wisdom up to the top. Right. And so I, I already got the wisdom that I would have, that, that I'm missing out on. Right. And so the monoliths are the ones that you can control the most, right? Because you can control forming mountains. Um, but for you right now, I mean, unless the Atma gets over to this B, uh, what, what number is it? B six sacred site over here. If she gets to there first, you're going to get a temple. If you get, if you get to there first, it'll be a shrine. Either way, you've got a sacred site coming your way because I have yeah. no way of moving it out of there. Um, unless the Atma does something magical and. Well, I'm going to gamble on that. So I'm going to go one, two. All right. Yeah, I'm going to gamble. Which is actually good, yeah, for you to just like hang out on that mountain and wait for Yeah. Her. So for my third action, I will move, which is going to be one, two. Now, if some if she builds a temple here, I need to be on this, on my sacred side. Is that right? To get the... That is correct. So if you are not on your sacred site, you do not get the reward for uh, studying while someone else builds. So Okay, so I'm only going to move the two yeah. then. Yeah, smart. For my third action. Very nice. So it's uh, up to you. Since I gave you a, a free action last game by building that mountain for you, or that last round. You know, let's see, let's see what you there's do. There's no complaining. No complaining over here <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, no. I got this. Oh, boy. You ready for this? Here, here it comes. All right. My first action will be to erupt volcanoes. I can erupt up to three volcanoes and I'm also able to free flow across land edges. I knew you were going to do that. So I'm going to take the top I, view I here. I little four sitting there. So the first thing we're going to do is erupt this four that's hanging out here. We're going to put one unit over here off to the side. So that'll just be a one tile right there. And we're going to flip it like so. And then we're going to put one unit over here in the B2 area. So that's another one. And we have two left, so we're going to dump both of those right there, turning this island into a three. Let's get that thing off. Drop the three in there. Most wonderful. The second thing I'm going to do. And, and you should note that when you drop that in, you're allowed to rotate that to any position you want. And it, I guess that's the position you want it in, right? Yeah. It, for me, it's not going to matter. And you'll see why in a second. Um, uh, but I still have two volcanoes left to erupt. So the first one I'm going to do is this two right here. And because I'm able to free flow, what I'm going to do is actually put one unit down, turning this into a two. And that two is good enough for me. And now I'm able to free flow that lava off of any land edge. So I'm going to flow it off of that land edge and hit this three, turning it into a four. So just, yeah, I just did a little flippy flip there. And then I've got one more and I may as well do this because it might be worth it in the end. I'm going to erupt this. Oh, uh oh, I'm going to erupt this three volcano right here. And we're going to turn that tile right here. The one plus three is also now a four. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is journey my follower. I can journey up to three spaces. Let's do top view again. We're going to go 
one, two. Oh, we'll just end right there on that space. Marvelous. And then my final action. I know what, you, I know what direction you're going. I know, to, I know what you're going <laughs> <laughs> to move land tiles one space. So let's get in here. All right. And you're going to move towards A, aren't you? All aren't you? three of those yes. are going to go in that it. direction. It just, you know. <laughs> oh. All right. So here's a mountain that's going to pop in here. Right there. Because the four plus four equals mountain. And this two and the four are going to collide together. So we're going to have a four with a two volcano sitting up on top of it. There's our two. That, oh, wait a second. See that? There's a problem with what I just did. That I built all my monoliths. I can't build. I have to like hang out here just hoping that the automa comes and builds. Otherwise, I've got to get moving around the map. I'll be okay. All right. Region B. Oh, <laughs> man. Look at this. Look at this. This automa is just brutal. This is perfect for me. Okay. So region B, she will build a sacred site and place a follower on it. Well, region B happens to have plenty of build opportunities for her. And the lowest one is B4 right here. So she's going to be building a sacred site. Let me fix what I just did because that's a mess. All right. Grab her sacred site, which is another monolith. I'm just hanging out on the mountain, but she now has a follower studying up there at the top. And she gets one wisdom for doing this. So follower track moves up yet again. She is now broken into the three points per follower studying point. So yikes. And then in region B, she's going to remove the largest unoccupied land tile, which is this four with the two volcano. Oh, that's, that's actually a, a huge disappointment. And then in region D, it would be this two right here. So that's going to pop off. And then she ascends one space up the ziggurat. You know, no shame whatsoever on her part. Okay, man. Back to you. Oh, cuss words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wanted that four to stay there. I was going to shift all those tiles down so I could run across. And now I'm not going to be able to. Okay, so let's take care of first things first. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and I'm going to build a sacred site. Oh, okay. All right. Just jumping straight to it. Yep. Right there. So that yields uh, two wisdom and I can ascend to. So one, two. It's all because I conveniently left it, isn't it? I left yep. it unmanned. That's what happens. Yep. That's what happens. That's all your fault. All your fault. <laughs> all right. Um, and I'm going to go. I know this is scary, but I need it. I need it. I'm going to go one, two. Oh, that's a good, that's a good one. Then I'm going to travel three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to move one tile. Blink. Ah, moves it across. Oh boy, boy oh boy! All right, that was that was well played, well played, man. <laughs> I know, but you're gonna find a way to screw me yeah. up. I'm sure. <laughs> There's got to be something I can do here. Oh man. <clears throat> Well, I'm, I'm not too worried about this, honestly. I'll just make sure I'm hanging out there when you build again. So, oh, you know, I forgot to take my extra ascend when I did my erupt last time. That's okay. That's all right. I'm, I'm kind of liking how, uh, how it's going so far. So having more opportunities might be really nice for me. So what we're going to do well, is... But if, if, you took, if you take that ascend, it actually pushes me up higher on the ziggurat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Had I taken it, that's right. You would have, uh, you would have actually gotten three additional points out of that last build. Yeah. I so mean, I, I, I foresaw that is what I meant to say. <laughs> and I intentionally made sure. <laughs> it's in the rule book. You can sacrifice ziggurat points to screw someone over, right? Is that <laughs> as long as you didn't take it, you don't take it. All right. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to first, uh, first I'm going to send somebody no, no. First, I'm going to build. Yeah, I'm going to build first. So I'm going to build my shrine right here. Pop it up in there. 
no shame in Shryman. And then I get to ascend two spaces. So I jump to the ninth spot and I get two wisdom for that. Hmm. And the sun goddess gets wisdom as well. And right? yes, let's go ahead and take care of it. Usually I like to start from the bottom and work my way up. So sun gets wisdom, which is follower yet again. So she is now maxed out. She's reached the top of her follower track. So anytime she gets follower wisdom now, she just misses out. And I get two wisdom. So I definitely know I'm going to want to increase this, but I feel like I've got time to work on it. And I feel like there might be other opportunities that I need to be going for. So we're going to go right here. One, two. That's what we're going to do bump up my shift ability. That's my first action. My second action will be to, oh, I didn't do it. You know what? It's going to be fine. I want to send someone to study. Zoink, right up there. And then I'm going to erupt some volcanoes, which allows me to ascend one more space up the ziggurat because I have that unlocked. So I'm going to jump up to the spot 10 here. Before we do all of the Volcanoes, though, let me first erupt these volcanoes. And so let's see. What I'm thinking, this two over here definitely is going to erupt. And I'm actually going to drop it since I can fl free flow. I'm actually going to drop the two way over here on this side of the map. So I have a question about that. Yep. Um, what's the timing? Should the volcanoes erupt based on your action or the new volcanoes be pushed out because of the ziggurat. Yeah. So the action will go first and then, okay. and then the plus will come after. So uh, gotcha. I need to erupt what's on the map first and then uh, yeah. the ziggurat. I'll, I'll, then that's when I'll technically ascend the ziggurat after, and then the volcanoes will pop in after I've completed my action. So blown up that volcano. The next thing I'm going to do is blow up this four and we're actually just going to flip that around, turn that into a four. I've got one left. So I'm going to drop it right here, turn that into a two. And let's see, I want a, one of the span twos. Yeah, like that. Perfect. And then I have one more eruption. I'm going to erupt this three and put a three tile right there. Actually, okay. Let's not do the span. Let's do the corner just so I have something connected. All right, now I ascend, hit that red dot, and let's put volcanoes on the mat. So what's going to happen here is level two volcanoes get added to every single hotspot. And if there's already a volcano there, we simply add two to it. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. That two comes off and becomes a four. All right. That concludes my actions. Did you get those other two volcanoes? I did. All right. Let's see, Automa. Let's see what she's got. It'd be good to me, Automa. That's right. In Region C, oh, she is going to be good to you. In Region C, she's yes. going to build. And so her first build opportunity in Region C happens to be right where you're standing. Oh, look at that. Yeah. I get it. You get an extra wisdom. Fine. Fine. All right. You take your wisdom. She gets three wisdom, though. So that's Temple. Her follower is already maxed out, so she doesn't get any more there, but she does get a few more points from the mountain there. And then she's going to shift. Oh, and she's going to be disruptive this time. And she's going to shift, let's see, two spaces. So that's going to go to, that's going to go to, and the three is going to end up way over here, out over the top of the hot spot. Unfortunately, it doesn't really help us much because that's already maxed out a mount. Um, that's a maxed out mountain. Womp, womp, womp. Oh, well. And then she's going to ascend two spaces up the ziggurat. So let's see. She jumps to spot number 11. All right. Go for it. Oh, wouldn't she be at? Oh, yeah, because she goes this way. My bad. All right. So my turn. Um, I think what I'm going to do is return followers. So this guy's coming down. And this guy is coming down. Yeah. And that's going to give me one, two. I'm, I'm going for the jugular, my friend. Right, keep it up. Keep it up. <laughs> um, then I'm going to, then I'm going to 
journey, which I'm only going to take the one space. Oh, I can never hit Q or E. It'll rotate and stand back up. There we go. Yeah. All right. And then I am going to take this action and build. Yes. All right. All right. So sun immediately gets some wisdom. Let's flip around there. It's temple again. Oh boy. This is going to be interesting. We'll see if we're keeping up with her. I get a wisdom. No complaints there. So let's jump over there and I'm going to go and do this. I get four wisdom. Paja. And you get four wisdom. No need to rub it in. I'm rubbing it in, my friend, for wisdom. Um, and I'm just going to do this. One, two. Do I, do I go up there? Yep. All the way to the top there. Yep. One, two. Um, let me. Uh. So if you want to think of it this way, right now you've built two shrines, two temples, right? And each of these little bumps here is going to be worth one point per site, right? So going up two is worth four points. Going up one is only worth two points. So the real question is, okay, I can, I can spend four wisdom here, get eight points. Yeah. Right. I think that's what, I think that's my best choice. Cause if I move up here, what does this give me over here on the, so you can go three here and that'll give you seven points at the end of the game for three wisdom and a plus ascend um, ability, which um, could, you know, that equates to more points, right? Because each space on the ziggurat is worth a point at the end of the game. So it is a way for you to kind of control that a little bit more. Um, but, uh, and then it would leave you with one extra wisdom, which then you can do, do one of those. So if you think of it, that could be seven plus two. So that would be nine actually uh, with those four wisdom going all the way to the top here and moving one of those up one. I see. So let's do that then. Worth the most points. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I will move this one all the way up. Nice. Instead. And then I moved my temple up one. So I can use three tiles to form mountains now. Is that what that says? You can now use three tiles as if they were four tiles when forming mountains. Yeah. So you can collide okay, and then three I, together. And you I move up. up. And that's the opposite way. So let's see. One, two. Yep. You're on number right. nine. That's correct. Okay. So that should be my turn. All right. Over to me. First, send one to study. Second, I'm going to journey three spaces. Let's go top view so we can go one, two, and then three. I don't know. I'm going to come over here just so I'm off of that mess. And for my final action, I'm going to return followers from study. We'll go right here and we'll go right there. So that's two wisdom. I'm going to go ahead and snag it right here. That's my turn. All right, let's see what the Automa does. Oh no, region D. Oh. There's nobody there. Fortunately, her two remove actions have come up null and void. <laughs> so we, we skirted by that, luckily. All right. So the next thing she does is sends a follower to study. Well, there's no place to study in Region D. So she sends them right down here in her study area. She's now going to shift this row of tiles. Oh, man. That's, oh, that's where I... Oh. <laughs> All right. Fine. She shifted. How convenient. <laughs> well, I'm now off somewhere. I don't know where I am now. Okay. New island pops in and then she ascends one space up the ziggurat. So she's now on space 12. It's all for her. I don't want you to get to this mountain over here. I want to get there first. <laughs> Let's see. How many people can I have out on the map? Three. Okay. So I'm going to move, oh, let me think about this for a second. So here's what I want to try to do, and it's going to be a challenge, but I think I can do it. I want to try to get one of my guys over here. And your special ability okay. is all diagonal. So 
uh, yeah, there's, there's ways for you to get over there or at least get close enough that it's convenient. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. It'll take a few turns, you know, it's going to take quite a few actions to make it happen, but yeah, you definitely have ways to make it happen. Yeah. I wish I could move more. I kind of regret not moving to the five. Ah, but then you'd have less points at the end of the game. Yeah. That's, but you're right. Like you unlock that five early and the entire board is your, your playground, right? You can go anywhere. Yeah, so, so challenging. Okay. So I'm going to move to a follower to study. Okay. I didn't say worship this time. Nice. Um, then I'm going to move three. One, two. And three and okay. Uh, and then I think I'm just going to be a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come here and I'm going to move one tile. <laughs> all right. All right. Cause you, you're still on move three, right? Yeah. Yeah. I am. Okay. All right. And because I'm there, I get to ascend one. You do get to ascend one, which puts you on space so 11. Yeah. Which is nice. There. That's a nice deal. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, you can't stop this because I, I have planned well in advance for this, uh, for this, uh, um, this next move. Here we go. That's what I was afraid of. I'm going to shift a row of tiles and I can shift mountains. So first things first, we're going to grab these and we're going to go, let's see, one, two spaces down. We'll deal with that in a second. One, two, one, two. And this pops back in over here. And I get to ascend one space because I've unlocked that top spot. So I'm going to go ahead and jump up to spot 13. No. Yeah, no complaints. And then I'm going to journey. You just wait for this. <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, hold on a second. Oh, so yep. this is the deal. If I, I didn't see this before, but I, because you ascended, I wasn't planning on you ascending. And so I only thought that I was going to be able to make it to space 14 and not make it to the top, but I'm going to be able to make it to the top. And since the Automa went first, that would end the game. It would. So I'm, I'm doing this. Because that shuts down not only the automa, it shuts down you. So we're going to journey. I'm going to go just. Are you sure you don't want an opportunity to score more points? What? Because I think you're behind. <laughs> you, think, you, you think so, huh? I'm going to journey. Just, just one little space there. And then my final action, I'm going to go ahead and build this fine looking shrine. Putting it right there. My little dude hops up inside of it. I'll gain two wisdom. And since I've built some shrines here, let's see. This is definitely first off the best move because that's worth four points. And then one more and it will be worth, yeah, this will be worth three points. So uh, that's probably my best bet right there. That's my final action. That puts me at space 15 on the ziggurat. One, two, which triggers our end game, which means we finished the round. And since Automa was our number one player, we have just ended the game. So let's jump over to the Ziggurat and let's add all this up and we'll see who done it best. So <laughs> go ahead and wow. take uh, take you the points for whatever space you ended on on the Ziggurat. I got 15. I just wanted to make sure that everybody was aware that that's what I got. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Automa oh. got 12 and you got 11. All right, let's zoom out here. We'll put these little guys, these little counters. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna add up the Automa first. So I'm gonna come over here and we'll zoom in a little bit on this player mat. Oh, that's way too much. There we go. All right, Automa built one temple for six points. So let's go ahead and give her those points. She built one shrine for two points. So that's an easy two. And she built two monoliths, six, po three points each with for a total of six points. 
She gets three points for every follower that is studying. So there's one in her study space. And let's see. There we go. And there's one on the map. So that means she gets six points out of that. And then her final points are coming from here, five and three. So that's another eight points. So the Automa ends the game at 39 points. We're definitely going to beat her. Oh. All right, let's look to jump over here. Let's see what you've got. I, I think I have 40 points. 40. So I have 11 from the Ziggurat. I have uh, two temples out at six points each, which is 12. So that takes me to 23, right? Okay. And then I have uh, two shrines out at five points each, which gives me 10, which takes me to um, 33. And then I get this seven points on my yeah up on top of that move. There you go, which forty points. 40. All right, jump over to mine. <clears throat> Come on, thirty-seven. Well, I built no <laughs> temples, but I also invested nothing in temples, so I'm glad that I did that. I get two points for each shrine, so that's worth four. I get six points for each monolith, and I built three of them, so. Let's see, highest it goes is 12. So let's do that. And then another six on top of it. And then I'll get seven points for the shift action over here. Ending at 44. Oh. I have okay, rematch. <laughs> <laughs> well played, sir. Well played. Once again, ended the conqueror. Oh my gosh! If you if you would have let me have one more turn, I would have taken. <laughs> I I think you actually would have. I mean, I, I so what I was going to do though was shift this whole row back way over here, so it was as as inconvenient as possible for you to get to, and then make you work toward it. So I don't know if you would have been able to make it to that mountain and build on that turn. Yeah, it would have been hard. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you would have been able hard. to do it. Even still, good game. Well, well it was played. Great. Well played. It was. It was good. It was very cutthroat. I like. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait to have this on my game shelf. It will definitely. It's definitely in my top ten for sure. Oh man, it's good to hear. All right, everybody. I hope that you enjoyed this playthrough. This two-player playthrough of Oros. It'll be hitting Kickstarter on July 20th, 2021. We hope that you are there day one backing this game. But thanks for joining us tonight. And until next time, keep playing.